the panel as well. The report, launched in Kampala, attributes the little progress in poverty reduction in Uganda during much of the decade leading up to 2019-20 stroke to various shocks and low resilience of the people. Strengthening resilience to accelerate poverty reduction in Uganda report reveals that numerous shocks hampered the ability of households to increase their income, disproportionately affecting Uganda's poor and rural residents. Clearly see that rural residents were more likely to experience shock. 35% of households in rural areas experienced at least one shock in rural, in, in rural areas compared to only 18% in urban areas. It reveals that with the limited amount of social assistance available in the country and the low resilience of households, the poor were more likely to use detrimental coping strategies. Those people who hit the most, they have the lowest resilience to cope with shock because they don't have savings. So they have to use detrimental coping strategies like reducing food consumption, which is very bad for their human development. The report also reveals that about 30% of Ugandans were poor in 2019-20, stroke 20, only slightly lower than the 31% in 2012-13, stroke 13, with at least 50% of Ugandans remaining vulnerable to the risk of falling back into poverty in the next two years. World Bank senior economist and co-lead Aziz Atamanov said, education, health and access to basic services are crucial for building resilience. The report proposes building resilience through key channels, namely investing in human capital, which will enable reducing inequality in access to basic services, targeting the lagging areas and most deprived groups, bolstering productive jobs to help improve access to and usage of improved agricultural inputs, expanding safety nets, which will require designing policies to promote insurance and savings schemes which help the vulnerable to face shocks without falling deeper into poverty and enhancing competition in the telecommunications market, which means uh, reducing prices on the telecommunication services and stimulating entrance of new users. The World Bank's country manager in Uganda, Mokami Karuki, says there is need to invest in measures that aim at increasing economic, physical, social and financial resilience. E.g. through climate smart agriculture and infrastructure investments, but also measures that facilitate timely and adequate responses to shocks, uh, such as re the shock responsive social protection systems. The executive director of the Uganda Communications Commission, Erin Kagwasawankam, emphasized the need for awareness creation and skilling to enhance digital transformation. If we put digital transformation at this level, whether it's only for the elite or you're supposed to be going to the broad context, it takes away the relevance in the daily lives of people. And what we need to start with is making it relevant in the daily lives. We have to actually be purposeful and go into a digital literacy program. Meanwhile, the acting governor of the central bank, Michael Atingi Ego, has called for combined efforts to address the issue of climate change to strengthen resilience of the vulnerable populations, especially those in agriculture. So we believe that uh, securing the environment is essential in securing the livelihoods of these people and therefore mitigating the risk of them sinking into deeper poverty. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.